Okay, good morning class. Today I'm going to be covering it's lit day. <clears throat> so let me give you some words that we're going to use on your practice. Um, it's from 621, the handout, if you go into 621.17, um, Stened Lessons 1 through 40, Selected Briefs. So I'm going to dictate the words and then I'm going to give you some speed building, okay? So if you want to get your handouts out, it's 621, 17. Stand up lessons one through 40. Um, it'll be either in class handouts or if it's theory class that's listening to this, I'll put it under um, class hand handouts, okay? So go ahead and get those, have a notebook by your side. These are redundant, so you should maybe already know them by now. So I'm gonna start dictating, okay? Some of you may not need notebooks, some of you do. It, it all depends on how well you know these briefs. So I'm gonna start slowly and then I'm gonna go through them fast. About, acknowledge, affect, afternoon, again, against, all right, almost, already, also, always, America, American, among, amount, and, and a, and he, and he will, and the, another, any, anybody, anyone, anything, appropriate, are, argue, argument, great, arrest, as a matter of fact, as a matter of law, as a result, as far as, as long as, as much as, as soon as possible, as soon as, as well as, ask, asked, associate, associated, at a time, at all times, at least, attorney, authority, average, bailiff, B, because, because of, because of the, become, behave, behavior, being, beyond, beyond a reasonable doubt, brother-in-law, burden of proof, but, by, can, cannot, career, chairperson, change, children, circumstance, circumstances, city, closing argument, community, company, complex, concern, condition, conduct, confidence, confident, Congress, capitalized, Congress, lowercase, consider, considered, Constitution, capitalized, Constitution, lowercase, construction, contact, continue, control, conversation, cooperate, could be, court reporter, courtroom, credible evidence, credible, criminal, damage, decide, defendant, defense, deliberation, deliver, demand, 
different do you recall? Do you remember doing during the during effort enough etc even every everybody everyone everything evidence examine for instance for the record for for the foreign forget from the from time to time general government guilty guilty or innocent happening have the have he is he she he should he was hearing help homicide hospital how many i was idea if if i could if the if you can important in in order to in spite of in the income information innocent inspect instruction interest involve is it can it is it was it would be juror jury jury room just a minute just a moment knowledge ladies and gentlemen uppercase ladies and gentlemen lowercase ladies and gentlemen of the jury all uppercase ladies and gentlemen of the jury lowercase lawyer listen manager many may not member members of the jury capitalized members of the jury lowercase miles per hour morning must be necessary new york new york city newspaper nothing object of the office officer official on the only open opinion opportunity other people perhaps permit person photographer plaintiff plaintiffs pleasure pocketbook police officer police position possibility prefer preponderance prescription present president capitalized president lowercase problem profession professional program purpose question reason recall recommend record regular remember reporter represent require respect responsible responsibilities result return security senate capitalized senate lowercase senator capitalized senator lowercase service she is the significant situation society something sometime sometimes system that that he that he is that the that you that you are that you are the 
that's the contraction. The, there, there are, there is, they have the, they have, they were, this will, this, to be, to have, to the, today, tomorrow, too fast, toward, traffic, United States, United States of America, valuable, very, vice president capitalized, vice president lowercase, we can, were, what is, when the, when was, whether, who is, who will, will, will be, with, with the, write, writing, written, yesterday, you can, you have, you were, okay? And so I'll give you some dictation incorporating some of these. Um, and we have, as a matter of law, is SMAFL, S-M-A-F-L, SMAFL. You have, S-M-A-F-L, let me write it for you, okay, SMAFL. You have, uh, as a matter of fact, SMAFT, S-M-A-F-T. One ends in a fact, so it's F-T, the ending law is SMAFL, F-L. For the record is F-R-O-R-D, F-R-O-R-D. So these briefs are gonna be from 621, the handouts on 621, okay? You have miles per hour is MIRP, Merck, MIRP. You have lots of briefs in here. Police officers, Clifford, P-L-I-F-R. Just a moment, J-A-M-T. Just a moment, J-Long O-M-T. J-Long O-M-T. You have hospital, H-O-P-T, hospital, H-O-P-T. You have demand, D-M-A-N-D, demand, D-M-A-N-D. Just a minute, J-A-M-T, J-A-M-T, just a minute. You have these are just your average um, briefs, and I'm going to start at 60 words per minute, okay? Find a focal point, and here we go. This is 60 words a minute. When was the last time you called your lawyer? As an American, you have a right to have a lawyer. As a matter of law, a police officer will tell you, you have a right to an attorney. As a matter of law, any person in the United States of America has a right to a lawyer. An officer, as a matter of fact, has the right to question you. For the record, he will ask you your name. The purpose may be that he is looking for a criminal. He will ask for your information and he will give you instructions. He may ask you to wait just a moment 
while he conducts a search or looks at his program system. Possibly he would need to open the door. He may ask how many miles per hour you were driving. He may demand to examine your car. He should ask if anybody in the car needs to go to the hospital. He may look at the damage or condition of your car. During the conversation, do not argue. Keep in control at all times. There may be a problem because of the traffic up the road. There may be another reason the police are stopping all cars. For instance, it may be construction, a wreck, etc. Respect the police officer. Almost everyone wants to leave as soon as possible. Remember, the police officer needs a credible reason to stop you. As long as you did nothing wrong, you will be able to return home in just a minute or so. The officer may not arrest you, but he may give you a written warning. At least the result is not jail. So let's forget about it for the time being. Everything will be all right. The average person gets on the defense when they see a police officer. Enough already about the happenings of today. Tomorrow is another day. Remember, you can write being in one stroke, BG, being, okay? Add the ending because there is no vowel in that stroke. You have, um, let me see, damage is DAJ, condition is KN. These should all be second nature to you, so make sure that you know them. You have program is PRAM, system is SM, okay? You have Conducts, K-U-K-T, come back, final S, conducts. You have, argue is A-R-G, argue. Pretty easy, you all. Credible, K-R-E-B-L. Remember, R-E-B, respect, R-P-T. And this is going to be at 70 words per minute. 70 words per minute. When was the last time you called your lawyer. As an American, you have a right to have a lawyer. As a matter of law, a police officer will tell you you have a right to an attorney. As a matter of fact, any person in the United States of America has 
a right to a lawyer. An officer has the right to question you. For the record, he will ask you your name. The purpose may be that he is looking for a criminal. He will ask for your information and he will give you instructions. He may ask you to wait just a moment while he conducts a search or looks at his program system. Possibly he would need to open the door. He may ask how many miles per hour you were driving. He may demand to examine your car. He should ask if anybody in the car needs to go to the hospital. He may look at the damage or condition of your car. During the conversation, do not argue. Keep in control at all times. There may be a problem because of the traffic up the road. There may be another reason the police are stopping all cars. For instance, it may be construction, a wreck, etc. Respect the police officer. Almost everyone wants to leave as soon as possible. Remember, the police officer needs a credible reason to stop you. As long as you did nothing wrong, you will be able to return home in just a minute or so. The officer may not arrest you, but he may give you a written warning. At least the result is not jail. So let's forget about it for the time being. Everything will be all right. The average person gets on the defense when they see a police officer. Enough already about the happenings of today. Tomorrow is another day. Okay, and so we have um, let me see. Average is just A, B, R, J, A, B, R, J, average. You've got defense. D, E, F, S is the easiest way to write it. D, E, F, S. Happenings. Happen is H, A, P. Come back, G, S. H, A, P, G, S. Happenings. You've got reason is R, N. You have at all times, T-A-U-L-T-S, at all times. And this is gonna be at 80 words per minute. When was the last time you called your lawyer? As an American, you have a right to have a lawyer. As a matter of law, a Police officer will tell you you have a right to an attorney. As a matter of fact, any person in the United States 
of America has a right to a lawyer. An officer has the right to question you. For the record, he will ask you your name. The purpose may be that he is looking for a criminal. He will ask for your information and he will give you instructions. He may ask you to wait just a moment while he conducts a search or looks at his program system. Possibly he would need to open the door. He may ask how many miles per hour you were driving. He may demand to examine your car. He should ask if anybody in the car needs to go to the hospital. He may look at the damage or condition of your car. During the conversation, do not argue. Keep in control at all times. There may be a problem because of the traffic up the road. There may be another reason the police are stopping all cars. For instance, it may be construction, a wreck, etc. Respect the police officer. Almost everyone wants to leave as soon as possible. Remember the police officer needs a credible reason to stop you. As long as you did nothing wrong, you will be able to return home in just a minute or so. The officer may not arrest you, but he may give you a written warning. At least the result is not jail. So let's forget about it for the time being. Everything will be all right. The average person gets on the defense when they see a police officer. Enough already about the happenings of today. Tomorrow is another day. Okay, and so let's go on you all to some other um, speed building. And so it's incorporating these same phrases. It's 60, 70, 80, and you have Pleasure, P-L-R-B, pleasure, P-L-R-B. You have constitution, tuition. And so it's capitalized, so put the asterisk in, T long U-G-S. You've got United States of America is yanks, Y long I M-T-S, United States of America. Cooperate is K-A-O-P-T, cooperate. You have newspaper is noop, N long U-P. Newspaper, you have um, nothing is N-O-G, you have authority is thort, thort, T-H, um, O-R-T. Thort. You have photographers, fraff, come back, E-R-S, fraffers, fraffers. Burden of proof is B-R-P, B-R-P. Closing argument, K-L-A-R-G-T. 
Yes. Think of the KL for closing argument is in, the, in their ARGT. Guilty or innocent is Gornt. Gornt. Credible evidence, K-R-E-B-D, K-R-E-F-D, they both come out. And this is 60 words a minute, you all. Once again, reporters take pleasure in serving the justice system among so many professional people dedicated to upholding the Constitution of the United States of America. The reporter must always keep his or her composure, even when the attorney's behavior may go against the authority of the court. Everyone should cooperate with one another in the courtroom. A court reporter is considered to be an official in the courtroom. Sometimes there are photographers and newspaper reporters in the courtroom. The judge does not permit jurors to speak with newspaper reporters or photographers. Anyone who does may be dismissed from the jury. The jury can discuss nothing about the case at all to anyone. The lawyer and the court reporter must respect the authority of the court. The court must have confidence in the reporter. From time to time, the lawyer will take an exception to the judge's decision. During an exceptionally heated closing argument in a homicide case, a lawyer will inspect the evidence and discuss it with the ladies and gentlemen of the jury. When the attorney delivers his closing argument, the members of the jury must listen carefully. Remember the attorney represents only one side of the case. The ladies and gentlemen will decide whether the defendant is guilty or innocent. The judge will charge the members of the jury in the law of the case. The jurors will return to the jury room to begin their deliberations of the case. The court reporter must be present when the jury returns with its verdict. The burden of proof is on the plaintiff. In a criminal case, the burden 
Okay, and so don't forget homicide, HDZ, HDZ, homicide. Inspect, MPT, MPT. All of these have so many briefs. You have um, from time to time, FRIMT, F-R-I-M-T, composure, composure. Did that come out? No, compose. There you go, composure. Compose is KP Longo Z, come back Y U R. And this is gonna be at 70 words per minute. Once again, reporters take pleasure in serving the justice system among so many professional people dedicated to upholding the Constitution of the United States of America. The reporter must always keep his or her composure, even when the attorney's behavior may go against the authority of the court. Everyone should cooperate with one another in the courtroom. A court reporter is considered to be an official in the courtroom. Sometimes there are photographers and newspaper reporters in the courtroom. The judge does not permit jurors to speak with newspaper reporters or photographers. Anyone who does may be dismissed from the jury. The jury can discuss nothing about the case at all to anyone. The lawyer and the court reporter must respect the authority of the court. The court must have confidence in the reporter. From time to time, the lawyer will take an exception to the judge's decision. During an exceptionally heated closing argument in a homicide case, a lawyer will inspect the evidence and discuss it with the ladies and gentlemen of the jury. When the attorney delivers his closing argument, the members of the jury must listen carefully. Remember, the attorney represents only one side of the case. The ladies and gentlemen will decide whether the defendant is guilty or innocent. The judge will charge the members of the jury in the law of the case. The jurors will return to the jury room to begin their deliberations of the case. The court reporter must be present when the jury returns with its verdict. The burden of proof is on the plaintiff. In a criminal case, the burden of proof must be beyond a reasonable doubt. In a civil case, the burden of proof is by and so you have decide is DDZ, DDZ decide. You have attorney is torn, represent, REPT, represent. Uh, you have 
deliberations, D-L-I-X, come back S, D-L-I-X, come back final S. Confidence is K-F-D, confidence, K-F-D. And this is gonna be at 80 words per minute. Once again, reporters take pleasure in serving the justice system among so many professional people dedicated to upholding the Constitution of the United States of America. The reporter must always keep his or her composure even when the attorney's behavior may go against the authority of the court. Everyone should cooperate with one another in the courtroom. A court reporter is considered to be an official in the courtroom. Sometimes there are photographers and newspaper reporters in the courtroom. The judge does not permit jurors to speak with newspaper reporters or photographers. Anyone who does may be dismissed from the jury. The jury can discuss nothing about the case at all to anyone. The lawyer and the court reporter must respect the authority of the court. The court must have confidence in the reporter. From time to time, the lawyer will take an exception to the judge's decision during an exceptionally heated closing argument in a homicide case, a lawyer will inspect the evidence and discuss it with the ladies and gentlemen of the jury. When the attorney delivers his closing argument, the members of the jury must listen carefully. Remember, the attorney represents only one side of the case. The ladies and gentlemen will decide whether the defendant is guilty or innocent. The judge will charge the members of the jury in the law of the case. The jurors will return to the jury room to begin their deliberations of the case. The court reporter must be present when the jury returns with its verdict. The burden of proof is on the plaintiff. In a criminal case, the burden of proof must be beyond a reasonable doubt. In a civil case, the burden of proof is by a fair preponderance of the credible evidence. Okay, and so jury room is J-U-R-M, J-U-R-M. Um, you have delivers, D-L-I-V-R, come back S. D-L-I-V-R, come back S. Uh, you have criminal, K-R-L. And then you have exceptionally, exceptionally. Okay, exceptionally. Exception is K-P-E-P-G-S, come back L-I. Don't forget, newspaper is NUP, and long U-P. Um, you have, there was one more, official F-I-R-B-L, and then you have considered as K-final R-D, initial K-final R-D. Let me see if there's anything else, you all. Permit, P-E-R-M-T. Juror is J-A-O-R. Court reporter, K-R long O-R-T. K-R long O-R-T, okay? And we'll end this and 
reconvene for the speed building.